Oh, 60 are waiting already. Holy crap. That's a lot. Welcome to Bruising Blades. It is uh, December 16th in the year of our Lord 2018. We're going to wait for a few more people to show up here and we will get started. We got a lot of stuff to do tonight. It's going to be a fun one. Last one of the year. Well, maybe not of the year. I, I don't know when. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do one on uh, New Year's Eve Eve. I didn't want to do one on Christmas Eve Eve. So uh, last one before Christmas. That's why we're doing a little bit of an extra giveaway tonight. Weehaw gave me something else kind of fun. And uh, I'm going to give one of those away too. In addition to our usual little tool giveaway that we do. Hello, Kiefer. Let me um, uh, hit refresh here and make sure that I can see what all y'all are saying. I didn't put my thumbnail up again. Evil, evil, evil thing. Okay. <clears throat> all right, we got a six, seven, eight, nine, ten of on here. Cool. All right. I'm going to uh, ramble for a few minutes. This is something we're going to talk about tonight. This is the, the tray of stuff that I'm reviewing at the moment. Um, yes, yeah, some of these have been reviewed before, but they're coming back in for a comparison test and stuff like that. So um, numbers are bouncing all over. I think YouTube is being a bit funky at the moment. But uh, let's get going here. I want to thank our sponsor, Weha, first and foremost. I did get a new shipment in of Weha stuff. I just ran out of these right on time. They got me to put the little tray aside here. Um, this is what we're giving away tonight. The T, uh, the usual T10, T8, T6 little set. You guys seem to like them. And uh, hello, Ryan. Uh, we will do a, uh, a drawing here very shortly for last week. Uh, I had a trivia question for that. I'm not going to do a trivia question this week. We're going to do something a little bit different. But uh, Weeha gave me something else. They gave me a couple of these. Hello, everybody. He's popping in. Um, I'm going to keep one of them. I'm going to keep this one. But look at this little Weehaw bottle opener. How cool is that? But I'm going to give one of these away tonight, too, along with it. So when I announce how you can win the giveaway, you're going to get both of these. Just this week and this week only. They only gave me two. And I'm keeping one because it's it's good for them, sponsor-wise, for people to see it when I open when I open a beer. Which this is Bruising Blades. Where I drink a beer, we talk about knives. You guys can drink whatever you want. But tonight's beer is Sierra Nevada Cele Celebration, my favorite Christmas time beer. It is definitely my favorite holiday beer. It's not horribly expensive. You can find it most places, you know, but it's better than your typical, you know, Budweiser or something like that. So uh, I like it a lot. It's very good. Any you guys else had this? I think it's available pretty much everywhere. And you guys don't, uh, you guys had the, the uh, celebration from Sierra Nevada? Yeah, this is just one of Weeha's screwdriver handles with a bottle opener on the end of it. So pretty cool. I thought that was pretty neat. They sent me two of them, so I'm gonna give one of one of them away to you guys alongside this. And um, all you gotta do is in the comments down below, and I'm gonna say this again. We're gonna do the drawing for last week's uh, re really shortly here. Um, is uh, just say what knife you're hoping to get for Christmas or Hanukkah. Or wherever it is that you celebrate. It's, we're just going to do something fun this week. It's almost Christmas. Just say what you're hoping to get. Not not in the live chat because I can't do the uh, li the um, the uh, the thing. Um, uh, I can't I can't do the randomizer for your live comments. So uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Jimmy Slash is going live again. Great. I can't I can't possibly. He goes live so much. I can't de coordinate with him. So it's it's kind of impossible. If I knew if he didn't go live almost every day, I would try not to go live the same time he does. But uh, he goes live almost every day, so I kind of got to. Um, we're going to put the tray back out here very briefly. And um, by the way, super chat thing, you can click that little dollar button down there if you want to kick in a few shekels. That would be awesome. Uh, this was a very expensive week, not because of Christmas. Because my cats destroyed my laptop. I don't know which one did it. Uh, one of them... I went up to go to the bathroom, and one of them knocked over a glass of water onto my laptop. So that was, uh, oh yeah, that works. That does work perfectly. Good, we did accidentally uh, deconflict, and I'll probably go over and hang out, hang out over there too. Um, but yeah, my cats uh, destroyed my laptop, so I got up to go to the bathroom, and they knocked over a glass of water onto my laptop, and uh, bricked it. Uh, good news, it's salvageable. I'm going to be able to sell it for fairly decent money 
and get some of the money back. But, you know, you guys sometimes click on that Super Chat thing. I never promote it. I should. The little dollar button down there below. If you want to click on that, cool. If you don't, no bigs. I'm going to take my uh, sweatshirt off. It's hot. I'm probably going to go uh, switch over to and watch wrestling when we're done here and finish watching the pay-per-view. But, um... Uh, uh, another... Are we CT lock failure questions already? Can I, can I at least get through the start? No, it's fine. Um, let's do the drawing for last week. Last week's was, uh, I, we talked a lot about the bare knuckles, so it was which, which um, one of the previous ZT models, and sp thank you, Raphael, very much. I appreciate it. Um, uh, started the uh, the whole Natrix family, inspired all of that. The answer was the 077. I don't think any of you got it wrong. So I've already got this queued up here on the old, literally, on the old iPad. <laughs> it's very old. Let's pick the winner here. And the winner is uh, Roscoe599. So I will put that in the comments on the last one. Uh, hopefully that person is on here tonight or something. And uh, they will get it. Uh, if not, I will pick somebody else and I'll try and get a hold of you another way. So last week's winner is Roscoe599. Roscoe. Roscoe P. Coltrane. That's what I was thinking. I was a big Dukes of Hazzard fan when I was a little kid. Um, what we have in front of us, and yeah, BP69, I'm going to talk more about that lock thing later because uh, I'm considering doing something about it because I'm, I'm kind of getting sick of getting asked that question. So, uh, no, I'm not getting sick. I'm very sick of getting asked that question. So, um We'll talk about it here shortly. Uh, we have, uh, this is, I call it the tray. This is what sits next to my computer on my desk. It is stuff that is either coming up to be reviewed or uh, like some of these are in here because they have pending comparisons. For example, the Capara and the uh, and the Backlash have been reviewed before, obviously, but they are, they're about to face off on Christmas Day. Spoiler alert if you guys have not watched the uh, best of videos. So, been trying to rotate them around some new ones got the wasp this is i think this review is coming out on tuesday i recorded it just this afternoon pretty cool little slip joint s90v it's pretty awesome uh and then some new arrivals i just did this morning the boost blade smoke i wasn't gonna do it until later this week because i figured people have done a whole ton of uh smoke reviews but um Oh, no, I didn't realize that uh, Blade HQ was putting the carbon one out today. So, I, yeah, holy walk and talk is right. We'll, we'll talk about that a lot. Um, uh, but, yeah, th this was coming out on Blade HQ, so I kind of rushed a little review of it. So, And some of you guys did snap, jump in and buy them. And I'm amazed. I just looked right before we started here, and they're still available. You can still get the carbon fiber smoke on uh, Blade HQ. They must have ordered a shit ton of them. Approximately. Approximately a shit ton. Maybe maybe a maybe a crap load. I'm not quite sure, but they ordered a bunch apparently because they're still available, and I know a lot of people were waiting on them. Yeah, you got a bronze one. Good call, man. Uh, I almost got this one in bronze, but uh, that much bronze was too much. But if I'd got the carbon one, I'd have definitely got the bronze one. Um, a metric is that a metric shit ton or an imperial shit ton? It's an uh, everything I do is imperial. Uh, I'm a big uh, yeah. The, the the rebels were scum. Uh, another one coming up. This is coming up on tomorrow. I'm doing this one because I know you guys have been waiting for it. The 0562 tie. Uh, yep. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Um, I, I know there was some confusion this week. I'd have apologized for this too. We're getting a bit off topic, but Friday night, I accidentally released two videos at the same time. That was not my intention. I meant to release my Hinderer uh, XM18 video on Friday and my top 10 video on Saturday and I screwed up and I had them at the same time. So I took the hinderer one down for a bit and put it back up today. And, uh, but in that video, I talked about how uh, I sold my quote unquote real hinderer and I was going to get a, uh, a, a ZT hinderer, this one, the 0562 tie. I did that. I got it. I've had it a few days. Oh my, I really like it. Uh, is it, I'm not going to be one of those guys who says ZT makes better hinderers than hinderers. There are some things I like better about a quote-unquote real hinderer, but um, I like a whole lot about this, and it's a lot cheaper. So this is a pretty freaking sweet knife, I have to say. Quite in love with it. It's uh, beefy, but 
still a decent length. Like I had a Riot New Torrent. I sold it because it was just too big. This is this is big and beefy, but it's not too big. It's okay to carry. It's lighter. I kind of like it. So um, it's patinaed a little bit, Blake. I know my hands don't sweat. I've been through this. We talk about it all the time. But uh, I carry it a lot. But my hands just don't sweat. So it doesn't. It don't. It don't change, which is kind of annoying. Um, what interesting stuff do we have here? Oh, uh, I got a Yoba tool. What is it? Silverback. This is kind of neat. I like this. This is coming up sometime. I don't know if this is going to be up this week or not. It's going to be up sometime. But a uh, pretty cool knife. I got to say, it's an Amazon only kind of thing. But uh, yeah, kind of faux integral back in the G10 and VG10 steel. Action is great on it. Pretty cool. Not a fan of the pocket clip. Other than that, pretty neat. Um, got the little V knives. Little uh, hermit crab. Tiny little thing, but it works. It works. And it works a lot better than I thought it would. It's, it's pretty cool. I, I just haven't bothered to put a ring on it to carry it on my uh, keychain, or it would. The only thing I don't like about it, I, th I think I showed this last week too. You can't really remove the pocket clip, or the spacers don't work, so I wish you could. But uh, and it's kind of a plastic plastic frame lock i don't know but it's kind of neat and then one that i don't know it'll come out sometime i've already recorded it sometime i'll put it out but the kershaw pub i do really like that this was my my bruise and blades bottle opener of choice until i got this cool weha one and then that's going to be the one i use all the time but uh pretty cool little knife and uh yeah i think that's it i don't have much showing up before oh i've two sh i'm sorry i lie I do have two showing up, hopefully, before the end of the year. They're both supposed to be in stock on Tuesday and shipped to me at my distributor. So uh, uh, the Spider Co. Amalgam and the Wee Knives Roxy. I should have both of those before the end of the year. I hope so. And then we will have some, uh, some videos on that. So I look forward to those. Those are cool. Uh, what else do we have coming up? Christmas Day. Best, best of. Going to pick between these two. This one budget knife of the year, this one over $50 knife of the year. Sorry if it's spoiler alert and you haven't watched that, uh, but you had time. Um, going to pick one of these two. It's going to be my knife of the year. So what's the brown knife? I just did a review of it just last night, so I don't blame you for not seeing it. This is the Civivi Shard D2 little 3-inch blade. Does my uh, lens look kind of smoky to you guys? It looks kind of like that to me. I'm going to wipe it off here. I apologize if this screws anything up. But it just it just looks as smoky. Clean the lens. There we go. That's better. Um, yeah, the shard is, I, and I love this color combo. I don't like any of the other ones, but I love this one. So it, it's pretty cool. Uh, Kershaw Copper. I did a review of it. Um, we'll talk about it more in a little bit. I, um, yeah, I'm going to talk about whether... I, I'm kind of thinking of comparing these two. They're both D2. They're both sub 3-inch blades, but just the copper is so much smaller. But they're almost exactly the same price. What do you guys think about that in the comments? Should I do a battle to the death with these two? I'm kind of feeling like it could. You know? Because they're, they're both being... They're both about the same price. They're both sub 3-inch. I don't know. But when you put them side by side, the shard is much bigger. But I don't know. I still kind of feel like I want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. All right. You guys convinced me. I really just wanted someone to validate me. Yeah, same steel, D2. So, yep. Um, what else? So, we're going to do that. Uh, and then we're going to do there's going to be a lot of battles to the death this week coming up to um, Christmas Day. Uh, I may even double up some days and do two videos, um, two videos in one day. Uh, because it's, it's Christmas week, a lot of us are getting to be off, all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, and then on between Christmas Day and New Year's Day, I'm going to do some um, I'm going to do some uh, teardown videos, which you guys, uh, I, I never do those, and you guys always ask for them. I'm going to actually take the time and do them, because I'm going to have nothing else to do, because I'll be kind of off. The whole bike industry is shut down then, so uh, I'll have some time. And I got some new tools. Weha sent me this cool thing. This little uh, quarter-inch driver. It's a bit long, but because it's got this, look at this. I feel like Batman. Oh, all my bits in the back there. All my bits in the back. That's what she said. No, I, I love this thing. This thing is so cool. We had to send it to me. 
to try out. So I got that. We'll do a couple teardowns. I've been saving some knives that I haven't torn down yet. So um, the Best Tech Escort. Oh, yeah, that does look cool. It is, uh, it is pretty sweet. No time for two vids. Well, you can go back and watch them later. They live forever. Um, yeah, I'm just going to... I, I'm going to try and pump out a whole lot of stuff. Also, what a lot of us YouTubers don't tell you. I'm going to break the fourth wall, as we call it in comedy here, for a minute. Um, the uh, the it, YouTube has kind of a sweep season. I know you've heard of sweeps week, like in the in the uh, TV community. In December, it's kind of sweeps. It's like they look a lot at your traffic to determine how much you get from ads in the month of December. So uh, December is when we a lot of we a lot of pump out a lot of stuff uh, because uh, that that people want to watch because it is kind of important for later on in the year. Mm, so good. By the way, if you're just coming in, this is the beer celebration. It's very good. Uh, definitely my favorite holiday beer. I've tried a whole bunch. Um, and then on Christmas Eve, or I'm sorry, New Year's Eve, I'm going to do my most carried for all of 2018. And here's the cool, here's the announcement. This is the big announcement for tonight. And you guys tell me if you think this is a good idea or not. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. New Year's Day. We're all hungover, most likely. Probably. Or whether it be from food or drink or whatever. Uh, I'm going to stitch together a whole bunch of my favorite videos I've, I've made of this year into a two or three hour long thing and I'm gonna put it up on YouTube Premiere and you can come and go and we can just hang out and watch watch videos and I'll have the and then that way it'll have the live chat up and we can just chat and just hang out on New Year's Day. You think that sounds like fun? I think it sounds like a lot of fun. Uh just and pro probably leaning more towards two hours than three hours, but uh it'd just be a fun thing to do. You can come and go and just log on and chat and talk and and i'll probably put it up and once it goes through the premiere and it's all over with i'll i'll, I'll leave it up for like a couple days and then take it down so you know it's not something that's going to be a thing that lives forever i just thought it'd be a fun little thing to do um oh i have a spinny thing you guys have a spinny thing i'm gonna hit refresh here there we go. We're back. All right. Scare me for a moment. Wave my hand in front of there and see if it's working. There we go. Phew. All right. Nice. Um, I turned off everybody else's computer in the house. I can do that. I've got one of those fancy pants routers that you can turn everybody off. It's so cool. I really like being able to do that. Uh, so one of the last things I want to talk about before we just let this uh, descend into chaos Um it's, it's related to BP69's comment earlier. Every time I show a ZT, and I ranted about this the last time, on, on the, the channel last time, on the, or on the live show last time. Um, I have to hear about that freaking Nero Knives video. And all, all the locks fail. I've got four. I can't make them fail. Tried it, tried it, tried it, tried it. I can't make them do it. Um... I am 175% sick of every time I show one of those uh, ZT. In any way, someone asking me that question. So this is what we're going to call a new segment on the show called Should I? Uh, should I do a response video to that video? I, I'm kind of thinking about doing a response video to it. Uh, the reasons why I don't want to is uh, I don't want to give it any more press than it already has. It's got 25,000 views or something like that. And uh, Banner, I whacked him on the uh, on the old, the, the last week, if you go back to the last week's live show, I whacked the hell out of him a lot harder than he did on four of them. Couldn't make him do it. Um, but uh, no, BP69 isn't causing a rumble. It's not that at all. Everybody's, everybody's, it's, it's not, not a big thing. Um, I'm not, not, upset, not upset with him at all. I didn't mean to sound like that. It's just, he asked it. So it reminded me of it, but, uh, I'm hundred percent sick of it being brought up and I don't want to do it to say, I'm not going to go on and say like Nero knives is full of shit. Cause I don't know that he is. I, I watched the video. His definitely did it. I mean, I don't, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Um, but, uh, I cannot replicate it and I'm sick of being asked about it. 
So I just want to have a video so when anybody asks me that question, I can just cut and paste and put that a link to that video and be done with it, you know? Um, I did that similarly with, uh, I can't remember what it was, another hot topic that came up earlier this year, and I just did a little video about it, and then I just linked to it, and um, so, uh, yeah, I think, um, I think I'm gonna, I think I might do it. I don't know. I don't want to see like I'm attacking the guy though. Cause I'm a bigger channel than him and I look like a bully and I don't want to look like that. But uh, I'm getting really tired of answering that question. It's it's beyond old at this point. And um, like literally anytime I show a ZT in a photo on Instagram, somebody asked me about that freaking video. So um, it's not going to go away though. I tried that. Mike, Kevin, whatever, you, however you pronounce that. I tried that for a long time, and uh, I just ignored all those questions, and they're they're not going away. It's getting worse, and I'm just 100% uh, sick of it. Or this way, I'll just have a little cut-and-paste link and say, here, go watch this video where I show you that mine don't do it and that I don't want to deal with it. So, um, uh Yeah, I mean, did it, and that's another thing. Did you send it back? I mean, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to get anything about stuff. I, I can't make any of mine do it, and I don't comment on stuff that I can't make happen. I even borrowed one of my friends. has One of my friends here in town has four other ones. So I've tested eight of them. None of them failed, and I was banging them on a block of wood. And then I even tried, so I even stepped down, and that wouldn't work. So I stepped down to what, like, this is what I used. I have a roll of gaffer tape. Couldn't make it do it. None of them. Eight of them. Eight of them couldn't make it do it. He had nine that every single one did. So I don't know. Uh, I tried an 0462, an 0450, my, this 0462 tie I've already done because I know when I do the freaking review, I'm going to have to deal with it and have to answer it, which is freaking annoying. And then I did, uh, what is the other ones I got around here? I had my, uh, 0609 doesn't do it. You guys saw this on the last video. My, uh, 0470, you know, doesn't do it. My 0393 doesn't do it. Um, I don't know. I've had a whole bunch now. So, uh, um, yeah, I tried an 0562. Or, uh, oh, yeah, it was an 0562. It, it didn't fail. I don't know what to tell you, mate. Um, I had an 04. I own an 0450, but I didn't whack. Uh, I didn't whack it on a roll of tape, but I owned it for a while, and it never gave me a problem, so... And the thing that made me upset, I think, was in one of my comments, like I said last week, is some guy said he was selling all of his ZTs because he watched that video. And I'm like, dude, uh, if you own them for years and you're a huge ZT fan and they've been fine, then why are you going to sell it because you watched a video? That's just dumb. If they if they're, they haven't failed in years, then that means they're fine for your use and keep them, you know? Yeah, I think I got to say something about it. I hate that. I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah, I just don't want to. Uh, did you get on the Millet Torrents? No, I saw all of them, and it's Christmas time, and I'm broke, and, and I keep getting, I'm on the email list, and I Herm D's asking if I got on the Millet Torrents that have been popping up on Spreezy. I get the emails, and I'm like, oh, it hurts my soul that I can't get one of these. They had so many of them that I love so much, and I didn't get in on it. I feel so bad. I bumped the camera with my beer. Um, so again, if you want to win the, uh, the, co the, uh, little combo package here of the, uh, the T6, T8, T10 set, like we always give away. And then this time, just for Christmas time, cause we're not going to do only still after Christmas, we have the, this new Weeha bottle opener. Pretty sweet, huh? They gave me two of them. The one I'll send you is in an unopened package, but I'm keeping this one. I'm going to, I'm going to try and tell them it's good for, uh advertising because I open beers on here all the time. I think that's actually why they sent it to me, but they sent me two. So, um, and it's made, oh, and it's made in Germany, my favorite country. So, uh, yeah, sweet. Another reason to keep it. If anybody knows how to make a beer bottle opener, it would be the Germans. Absolutely. Uh, Manly Wasp versus Viator. I sold, I sold my, um, my Viator, but, uh, cause I'm getting one of the new ones, not cause I hate it, but, uh, um, it's, it, this is, a bit smaller than the Viator. We'll do a little quick comparison here. Uh, I, th I don't, I still don't think it, I still think the Viator is just as slicey. This is better steel. Um, yes, it is very thin behind the edge, but the Viator was still super, super slicey. Um, 
I don't, I don't think I'd be able to tell the difference, to be honest with you. Um, there becomes a point where it's just everything's so freaking slicey that you can hardly tell the difference, you know? And I think the, the Viator has, has reached that point. Uh, I think the Viator was 154 CM. I don't know what the new ones are going to be. I, I'm kind of guessing they're not going to be 154 or CPM 154. I think they're going to be, um, I think they'll probably be uh, a 20 CV or something like that. But uh, yeah, I, you'll see in the review. I like a whole lot about this. Um, I don't like the Digicam, but that they're sold. The Digicam sold out anyway, so that's irrelevant. Uh, mostly now, if you're going to get one now, it's going to be black or orange. Um, this is just the loaner they passed around. It's got this multi-step thing. It's definitely a two-hand knife both ways. Even though it has all these steps, I still wouldn't want to close it one-handed. Um, it's just not comfortable to do, but uh, pretty cool. Oh, you got the red and black one. Sweet. I wish I could have jumped on it, but I had this one. And I thought, eh, I'm not going to. Yeah, full disclosure, they gave this to me, but it is used. that It went around a whole bunch of reviewers. I was the last one to get it, and they just said, don't bother sending it. A pretty cool knife. I like it. Uh, the 0562 tie, you'll see the review of that tomorrow. Uh, the Booze Blade Smoke I did this morning. These two on Christmas Day facing off. These two whenever they fit in the schedule. Uh, this is on Tuesday. And I guess I'm going to do a battle to the death between these two because you guys have talked me up to it. So uh, we're going to do that. Let's put this down. Oh, bang, bang, smash, bang. Everything's all scratched now. I was very happy to see that yesterday uh, Nick Shabazz put up a review of a knife that I liked a lot, and he liked it too. That's always good. I never know, because this is kind of an oddball knife. And um, uh, this is the uh, the Kaiser Mini Ethereum, and uh, I really like it, and it's growing on me more and more every day, and he liked it too, so that's always kind of cool. Um, I'm probably going to do, even though I don't have a 20 CV one, I probably should do it with a 20 CV one. I'm going to see if any of my local friends have one. But uh, I'm probably going to do a comparison between the 0393 and, yeah, and the 0562 tie. Eventually, the two bigger hinderers, ZTs, I think that would be a cool little video. Um, if I can't get my hands on a 20 CV one, I'll just use this as a stand-in. Because the only difference is the blade steel and the color. So uh, it would still be a very good, very good comparison. Um, if I was gunned to my head right now between the two of these, even though this is the S35 one and this is 20 CV, and, they, and someone made me choose one, I don't know. I'd probably get shot. <laughs> I really like them both for different reasons. This is a little slimmer um, in your hand and stuff. Uh, a little more interesting looking, but uh, the ergonomics on the 0562 tie are just... Mwah. Mwah. So good. Am I gonna nab a Pleroma? I don't. I don't know if they're. I guess they're regular production, right? If they're regular production, yes. But uh, I had money wise before Christmas. I had to make a choice between a uh, a Pleroma and um, the uh, the uh, yep the Roxy, and I chose the Roxy. So I'm not gonna get one in this first batch. I won't be one of the first guys to review it. But hopefully, I will be for the for the Roxy. I hope. And uh, I'm going to still keep trying to find stuff for this to battle with because the battle's to the death with the... You guys love seeing the chaparral. Or the chaparral? Wait, where'd that go? Oh, you, somebody said chaparral. That's where I got it from. I don't have one. Or That is a good idea. Somebody suggested a battle to the death between the chaparral and the bug out. Really good idea. I don't have a chaparral lightweight anymore, so um, uh, that's not going to happen. I am going to do one with the bug out and the uh, uh, giant mouse Iona, though. Um, do I know when the Escra is coming out? Very soon, I think before Christmas. Uh, I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, I would, I, I would like to get my hands on a Pleroma. It does look very pretty, and it looks like something I would really like. But again, money-wise, I just had to make the choice. So uh, I got the Roxy because my buddy makes, my buddy designed it. So uh, I had to. Not that, not that I'm not friends with Elijah either, but uh, I, I guess they're both my buddies. Oh, now I've made a terrible mistake. Yeah, no, I, th I think even Elijah would admit I'm, I'm better friends with Zelrick than I am with him. So I've, I've known Zell longer and talked. I talk to him on the phone more often. So, <laughs> um, But yeah, I had to make the choice. So, uh, But after, if they're in full production and they're available after the first of the year, when I, when I remember what money looks like, as I put it today to somebody, 
Um, I'll, I'll probably grab it. Uh, yeah, the FRN Chaparral was great. I sold mine, and I, I kind of ridiculed it. Uh, there's, they're in pre-order a few places. My distributor has it in the coming soon notify me thing. And I, I just told him, uh, I already, I just told him I uh, here invoice me and, and send it to me the second that it's available. Um, so we'll see my distributor. I say like, it's a mystery. It's white mountain knives. I talk about them all the time. So, um, yeah, by the way, use the, use the, uh, the 10% off code on white mountain knives. A lot of you guys have been using it. It's been going great. They seem very happy with it. They seem like a lot of you guys are using it, so that's super cool, and I very much appreciate that. Um, my FRN chaparral is the reason I didn't feel bad about giving my ZDP-189 Dragonfly to my brother-in-law. Wow, you like your brother-in-law a lot more than I like my brother-in-law. I've given him knives, but I've never given him anything that knife. Or that knife? That nice. I just bought a pair of three and love it. Cool. I'm not a huge pair of three guy, but I know a lot of people are. Um, Pleroma sounds like a kind of tumor. I think it's a town in California, isn't it? I think it's a swanky place in California. Isn't Pleroma? Pretty sure it is. Um, da -da. I thought I'd like the pair of three more than I do. I should probably start getting rid of some of mine. And the pair of three is cool. It's just that that clip drives me insane. And it's not a attractive knife i'm sorry a guy that just bought one and is very proud of it uh matthew scott hill i'm a, i apologize but <laughs> oh it's just not a pretty knife uh is the domino worth it yes domino super cool wish i still had one uh when or will you get a uh a spider coast spidey chef i don't know but i really do want one it's one of those things where if i had some kind of windfall they would probably be the first you know effort knife i would get um because there's been so many reviews of it done that it doesn't make any sense for me to go buy one to review uh but i do really want one bob b says sage five not pair of three i concur i even did a video about it um yeah, yes domino firm yes um there's something about the domino i think for me olivia it's just the the ergonomics it felt so good in my hand I sold mine and I feel like an idiot and they don't sell the black one anymore so I'll probably get I'll probably get a blue one at some point again but um uh pair of three is hideous but functional that is very true pp69 that is very very true um man I want a sage five you should they're great I've got one it's uh you guys convinced me to get it I I didn't see the thing with it and I got it and man I love it uh, Sage 5 is your favorite spider coat. You know, it might be mine, too. It might be mine. Uh, like, ever. It might be my favorite spider coat ever. That or, I gotta admit, though, this Capara is rocketing up the charts as my favorite spider coat ever. So, it'd be close. But, yeah, at the moment, I think it probably would be the Sage 5. I haven't tried a Spidey Chef. I think I really would love that. But, um, Yeah. Uh, Spider Spidey Chef is uh, great for topical videos. Nudge, <laughs> you guys are just trying to influence me. Uh, Domino from Bento Box in 204P. Ooh, is that available now? I'm gonna have to go check that out. Um, but, uh, Manix 2 Lightweight is my favorite so far. That's way up there for me, too, man. I, I carry my light, my Manix 2 Lightweight a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, it's one that um, I often use this for beating. Like when I got a, it's basically my favorite work knife because I don't care about it. It's it's cheap. I've had it for a long time and uh, it's been through a lot and it's held up. So, uh, see you later, Banner two forty seven. Yeah, the blue carbon fiber domino is what I guess I'd have to get now. I had one of the black ones and then I, I sold it like a dumbass i thought they were discontinued and actually i do have to say though i got a lot of money for it because i think we all thought they were discontinued for a minute there and then all of a sudden they weren't and they kept making the blue and the red ones i think they just discontinued the black one and someone misreported that they discontinued all of them we all flipped out oh what are we gonna pull out here oh here's another thing i've been carrying a whole lot this week Oh yeah, the Keen 
I know that we all lost our tiny little minds about this, and I think uh, Kevin Kevin Cleary actually made a joke video about how much we all raved about this, uh, the Ray Laconico Mass Drop Keen, but mm, it's good. Keep up the great podcast. If I do the podcast again, I'm going to have to find other people. We, we, we couldn't make all three of us work. There's no... I've actually got emails about are Nick and Zell and Zellwerk and I mad at each other? No, it just it just didn't work out time wise for us. They've started doing their own thing with those late night videos, which is cool. They're a lot of fun. Um, I do want to do another um, another podcast, but I got to find uh, other people to do it with. I have an idea of who I want to do it with, but I have not asked them yet. So one of them got nabbed by somebody else. But, um, yeah, I got a couple buddies who I wanted, I, I think would be fun. But, um, I mean, carrying your Atlas recently. Yeah, that's a, one I carry often when I go to the studio and stuff. Um, it's kind of my gentleman's knife because um, it's small and it doesn't intimidate anybody because it's a slip joint. Um, I put a <laughs> – it's not you, Ryan. No, I had a um, – I had a – I don't know. I lost my track of thought there. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna have to look at that uh, 204P uh, Domino. We're gonna. I'm gonna do this as I'm on here. It's not like the first time I've ever done it where I've just started typing while I was talking to you guys. Bento box. And by the way, can you guys all say good job to my cat? Because my cat is sleeping next to me and he has not gotten up and asked me to take him out of, or let him out of the room. I guess I should say. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to find this, guys. I want to see it now. Oh, it's got blue G10. That's weird. Huh. Wow, that's cool. I I had not I did not know this was a thing that existed. That is pretty oh wow, Jesus Christ on a bike. 209.95. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> it's 209.95 for something that uh, the um, production version arguably looks better. Um, I did want a pair of three. I'm, I'm 390 pair of three. The price on that, as I recall, wasn't that insane. It was it was all right, and I I should have gotten one, but I didn't. I, I I knew I I need to have a pair of three around. I sold my S110 V1, and um, I should have gotten the uh, I should I should get another one, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm waiting to see one of the sprints that strikes me as something that I actually want. Uh, what's your opinion on the Medford Eris? I don't even know what that is. I honestly don't pay any attention to Medfords. I reviewed one that was on a pass around, and um, and it was it was actually the mini the production Praetorian. It was cooler than I thought it was going to be. I liked it more than I thought, but it's not really. Oh, that's a little tiny one. Let's see. Oh, that looks kind of neat. That looks kind of cute. That looks like something I might actually like. Holy crap, thick blade stock. 0 0.19 inch blade stock? Wow. That's a lot. I know I'm looking at pictures and stuff and you guys can't see them and it's pointless, but yeah, I don't know about that for 475 bucks. Yay. No, I don't think I'd, I don't think I'd jump on that. Um, again, you guys can click the little super chat thing, the little money button down in the corner there. That would be much appreciated this time of year. And not because it's Christmas, because I had to buy a new computer time of year. Uh, so, yeah, click on it if you want to. Yeah, mini pry bar. I don't know what, you can't even get any leverage on it. It's not even good as a pry bar. I do, I do appreciate it does. Greg Benford and I, I don't know if you guys saw, it, I, I know some of you did because you emailed me about it. We had a bit of a, a bit of a row on uh, Facebook um, oh, a month ago, but we're all fine now. We talked it out. Everything's cool. But, uh, yeah, I, I didn't I didn't appreciate something he said in one of his videos and I said something and I thought it was it was in another group that I thought he wouldn't see and he immediately like immediately replied to it and hammered me for it. And I didn't think he knew who I was. Thank you, Olivia. And he actually knew who I was. Which was nice that he knew who I was. But that made him uh more angry. So uh see you, Mal. 
Um, but, uh, yeah, it was kind of funny. Um, it was one of those things, you know, where you think you're, you think you're talking crap about somebody and they're never going to see it and they see it immediately. <laughs> it was like instant karma, <laughs> but we talked it out and he's actually a pretty, he's actually a, a pretty, uh, pretty reasonable guy it was greg medford but he's a pretty reasonable guy actually once once we got to talking thanks ryan i really appreciate that from everybody uh once once we got once we talked it was it was fine he has very strong opinions and all i said was you know he posted about his political opinions and i didn't even comment on his political opinions i just said yeah as a business guy it's probably not a good idea to do that um and he didn't he didn't appreciate me saying that so uh um, Slicey, what's the hardest steel for you to sharpen? S90V is definitely the hardest I've ever tried to sharpen. That's a bastard. Um, I mean, I, I have an S90V here now. I've got that, that Manley's S90V, but, uh, yeah, S90V is hard. Takes a really, 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 really long time. Uh, what do I use to sharpen? I don't have anything super fancy. I guess it's all the time. 90% of the time, I'm really good about keeping my stuff stropped and uh, and touched up. So mostly I just use my uh, Spyderco Sharp Maker. See you, Ron. Um, and uh, that works great. The stones for it that are available for it. So that works pretty good. Uh, I do have a Lansky guided system, but I don't hardly use it. And I've been shopping for another system for so long and going back and forth and back and forth. I've just never gotten one. I have a lot of friends that are really good at sharpening. So when stuff, some, something is uh, more complicated, um, I'll send it to them. Because I got a lot of friends who do it for free. So, hey, Super Steel Steve, how you doing? I just was watching one of your videos this very day. This very day I was watching one of your videos. I, I do not recall which one it was, but um, I was watching one. Get good at freehand. Yeah, sometime if I if I like break a leg and can't leave my house for a month and have, have time to sit and figure it out, then I probably will. But uh Yeah, I'm sure I'll wind up with a KME one of these days, but God, what was the one I was watching today? I was watching a Super Steel Steve video today. Oh, it was uh the Benchmate M three ninety versus somebody else's M three ninety. I don't remember what the other one was. But it was, uh, yeah, it was fun. I watched the whole thing. It was good. Um, uh, best way to sharpen it, yeah. My best way to sharpen a knife, I find, is to send it to my very many talented friends. That is how I sharpen my knives. I keep, I'm very good about not letting them get super dull to the point where they don't need a lot. So usually I can just do anything I need to do on the sharp maker. And then uh, if, if they, if I, not paying attention and they get very bad and they actually get super dull. I send them to one of my very smart friends and have them do it. It's uh as you it's it's kind of the same way I mow my yard. <laughs> is uh you know I don't um I don't I don't mind I can mow my yard. Uh but I also have a teenage boy that I can pay 5 or 10 bucks to do it for me. So I have him do it. Um what is the smoothest knife I own? Um Hmm. Hmm. Right now, this is pretty close. It's not a total drop shot, but as far as just smoothness, um, I would say probably, and this is a lot just because I've used it a whole lot and ZTs are good anyway. I'd say right, right now at the moment, it's my uh, 0393 probably. You like any of the giant mouse knives? Yeah, I put the Iona on my uh, top 10. Um, uh, I really like that. Some people really don't, but I really love that knife. I think it's great. I have not uh, reviewed any of the other ones, and I feel bad about that. I think the Biblio probably would have made it instead of the Iona if I would have got my hands on one, but this year I just didn't manage to pull that off. So, um, uh, This is the, the strap block I use. is around here somewhere. I can't find it. It's the Knives Plus one. It's great. Um, I have just been using the olive oil, as it said, but I'm actually going to put some compound on it, I think, and, um, and use it like that. A couple of my buddies have done that and said it works pretty good. Um, I think that my, that this other ZT stands a chance of becoming, the smoothest I've ever owned was definitely my Riot New Torrent, but I don't have it anymore. Uh, I think once this gets broken, I'm going to pass the detent, I think probably the 0562 will become... 
will become the uh, smoothest one. It makes a weird noise. And then I talked to my buddy and he goes, oh yeah, I have a carbon, it does the same thing. But listen to the noise this thing makes. It's kind of musical. Ding! I know I've been talking about it a lot, but man, I love this thing. It's been great. I rushed through, I was so glad that, I, like I didn't want to do the smoke video. I've been waiting a year for a Boost Blade smoke. And I got it. I did the video today, which I was not planning on doing. And waited a year to get my hands on this and I was excited to get the video done so that I could carry this the rest of the day. Isn't that pathetic? But the smoke is cool. If you guys are just popping in, I know we've had a whole lot of people just pop on. Holy crap. Is the Civivi Backlash smooth as well? Oh, yeah, it's very smooth. Very, very smooth. Um, that's one of the most amazing things about those for $42. Just the amount, just how smooth they are. It's crazy town. Um, I'm just reaching around, grabbing knives to keep things interesting. I guess the size difference is too much, but you guys didn't, so it's all your fault. So I'll be doing that. You guys, you guys requested it, so uh, I'm gonna rush it. I'll probably do it like Wednesday. I do want to do a lot of comparisons this uh, this week, so it does fit in. Uh, Jimmy Slash live in 30 minutes. Just got a notification. How did you do that? Do Do you guys get a notification when I'm gonna be live in X amount of minutes? I don't know how you do that. He's the only one that I get them for. I get watch Jimmy Slash live in 30 minutes like all the time because he goes live like twice a day but uh it's weird now i don't know how i can make sure you guys can see it yeah because i because i set mine up half an hour in advance and when i come on some of you guys are waiting but um do you so you do get a farm hunt gun if you if you get it i would like to know because i just and it's just you gotta have the bell clicked i know i have the bell clicked for him so um Okay, so yeah, so as soon as I set it up, if it's in 30 minutes in advance, you guys get a notification that it's going to come up. Hmm. Okay, cool. All right, that's what it is then. Now I know. Now I know. Thank you. I didn't know if I needed to if I needed to do something different. Apparently, I alas, I do not. Um and you know what? Something I want to kind of, it's, it's stupid to apologize for, but I do kind of want to apologize for it. Um, uh, I've been very Kai heavy this month. <laughs> I didn't notice that until I just looked at my previous videos. It's all been Kershaw and ZT. I'm sorry. That was not an intentional thing. They, they delayed a lot of stuff till the end of the year and that it's just, it's just what happens. Um, what I used to some of my knives, uh, mail, I'm actually gonna do a video about that, uh, somewhere between Christmas and New Year's, but, uh, I did one before, but I've changed some stuff, so, uh, basically Weeha Tools, and, uh, we'll get into that. Um, favorite, favorite knife you have reviewed and least favorite ever? Um, so, uh, my favorite knife I ever reviewed, uh, hmm, probably my Riot New Torrent that I no longer own. Uh, thank you, Kiefer. Merry Christmas to you, too. Um, I love the Riot New Torrent, but it was a lot of money and kind of too big for me to carry. But that was probably my favorite. Um, I had the bronze one with the carbon inlays and stuff. It was freaking gorgeous. Uh, my least favorite is coming up. And, uh, yeah, I have not, I have not published that yet, but, uh, it's a Wii. It's a Wii Knives. I do like, mo I like most Wiis very, very much, but I reviewed one recently I do not like at all. Uh, we will, uh, we'll get to that later. If someone can guess what it is, I will confirm it, but I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to say it. I don't want to give a spoiler, but if somebody can guess it, it'll be a little fun game we have. If somebody can guess it, I will confirm it. But, uh, yeah, it was a Wii Knife, uh, one that they did recently, and I just... Don't like it. Very well made. Beautifully made knife. Did not understand the design whatsoever. Didn't get it. Um, nope, not the Dracon. I've never gotten one of those yet. I think I'd probably actually kind of like that. I don't like the look of it, but I bet once if I got it in my hand, I bet I'd really like it. It's not one of their crazy-ass art knives. It's, um... Nope, it's one of the recent ones. Not, not brand new, but fairly recent. It's not one of the ones that you saw in the last three. Um... 
Yeah, oh, I, I hope you, I want to see if you guys can figure it out. I know everybody's now going on to like Blade HQ and looking at the the recent the recent Wii's. Um, one of my very good friends reviewed it and didn't care for it that much either. He didn't hate it as much as I do, but uh, he didn't care for it much either. Uh, thanks for my sheepdog video. I got the blue one for my friend. And he loves it. Yeah, the mini sheepdog's freaking cool as shit. What's my favorite blade style to carry? Oh, I, I like a simple kind of drop point. Uh, I don't like anything too super fancy. Um, no, it's definitely not the rectifier. I love the rectifier. Uh, I've never tried Reddit knife swap to sell stuff. I should probably do that because I'm getting kind of annoyed with blade forums. Everybody's just wants such a freaking deal there now. And you have to pay so much money a year to be able to sell there. Uh, do you like the Yojimbo too? I've never gotten to try one. I really want to. It's it's one that I don't want to... Um, um, it's one I don't want to spend the money on myself, though. I want, I want to try one first. I bet I'd like it. But What is the definition of Brian spec? This is the definition of Brian spec. Gray, plain, simple... That's what I like. This also is Brian Specky. This is carbon and gray. Um, and these are even kind of, this one isn't really Brian Speck, but I like it. It, it does appeal to me. But you know, this is even kind of Brian Speck. Just something not too crazy. I don't like bright colors and knives. I, it's just not my thing. Um, Wii Zeta, I liked the Wii Zeta. That was a really nice knife. Um, What was the one you said you'd buy me and send me for review? I, oh, the Yojimbo? Well, that would be that would be great. I'd very much appreciate it. I'd really like to try one. That would be amazing. Do I think Spider Co is overpriced? Some of them, some of them, absolutely. Yeah, the Delica Four way overpriced. The uh, um, uh, Shaman, even though it's um, one of the best that they've ever made, it's way overpriced. Um, yeah, there's a lot of them that are way freaking overpriced. Yeah, the Paramilitary 2, the Para 3, uh, the Manic the Manic series is almost a bargain. It's just weird. They go all over the place. Um, yeah, Brian Speck equals boring. Yep, yep, yep. That's pretty much. Oh, guys, guys, by the way, speaking of boring, this is uh, I Life Achievement Unlocked. Uh, a local restaurant is naming a sandwich after me this coming Friday. Huh? Isn't that cool? And you know what it's called? It's called Brian's Boring Burger because I'm boring. Because not only am I boring my knife spec, I also usually order. Um, uh, <laughs> thank you, Plains Crafter. Yeah, the cats are the cats are fine. I forgave them. It was my fault as much as theirs. Um, but no, I usually order my food plain a lot too. So uh, they they named a sandwich after me, and it's just a a plain like bacon cheeseburger with some kind of fancy sauce that they've made that I haven't tried yet. But the chef is freaking amazing. And I'm sure it'll be great. So, uh, yeah, it'll be cool. I'm, I'm very excited about it. I've always wanted that. And my, I finally got a sandwich named after me. And uh, really excited to see it. So, yeah, it's uh, bacon, Swiss, and some kind of fancy aioli that I don't know what it is yet. But, um, yeah. It's not a sad life achievement. It's cool to get a sandwich named after you. That's pretty awesome. Didn't you ever see the episode of, uh, what is it, um, uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm, where he's, he's all trying to get the sandwich named after him. Oh, I love Celebration. It goes down so good. Yes, bacon makes everything better. Uh, somebody asked me a question I did want to answer here. I gotta scroll back a minute, guys. Hold on. It's my gaming mouse. Da -da -da. Mini Sheepdog versus Mini Ethereum. The price difference is way too much on this. Um to do bother doing a comparison that's it's way too huge of a difference and the mini theorem is quite a bit bigger uh, what about the capara what about the capara work on getting a beer named we actually i there's a, my friends that run a beer you've seen it on here three heads a lot or three heads brewing i bring on here a lot um they actually have said uh they're um working on a uh but they they can't get it right, and if they do get it right, it's gonna be named after me. But um, yeah, I've been trying to get them to do a, a whiskey aged, uh, you know, uh, stout, uh, bourbon stout, and they uh, can't quite get it right. If they ever get it right, 
it'll be named after me. They promised me. But, um, yeah. Did you review the Wee Double Helix? No, I didn't. I was hoping it would come through the pass around group, but it never did. Uh, didn't really appeal to me looking at it, so not enough for me to go buy one. Mm. Yeah, $65 is good for a Delica, but compared to the competition, that's a very, very way to... It's a very good way to put it. Yeah, compared to the competition, yeah, a Delica should be... A Delica should cost about 40 bucks. And they're 75 Just ridiculous. Do you like the Mass Drop Thresher? No, I, I did not care for that much that one much at all. I passed, and I do have a Dow coming in February, allegedly. As soon as I have 227 bucks, I'll buy the Ojimbo Tomb and 20 CV. Well, that would be cool. I would love to check it out. I've always been interested in them. They are for fighting, though, so uh, I don't know. I may have to fight somebody with it. I'm just kidding. I would never do never do that. Um, Spider-Co Shaman. I, I just talked about it. Yeah, I think it's one of the best knives that Spider-Co makes, but it's horribly overpriced now. <laughs> if Spider-Co does an insane heat treat on their VG10, it's worth it, but otherwise, no. No, and they do not. That's the thing. BP69 is the, I think Spider Co's heat treat on VG10 is the freaking worst. Wheeze is way better. The Civivi VG10 is is fine. The Spider Co VG10 is not fine. It's really soft. Uh, you saw your first live comedy show this week, TJ Miller. Oh, yeah. I met TJ a couple times. He's been in some trouble lately. That's probably why you saw him at a comedy club. I don't think he was doing comedy clubs six or eight months ago. Um,. He's been a bad boy. Uh, yeah, the Kaiser VG10 is also very good. Actually, you know what? Most other VG10 is pretty good. <laughs> but uh, Spider-Co sucks. This, uh, where is it? Oh, can't reach. Stretch. Yeah, this Yobo tool from uh, Amazon is pretty good. But, um, yeah. I think I think my screen is locked up. My recording is locked up again, and I think all you can do is hear my voice because I don't see myself on here. This thing has a magical power to do this right at one hour. We have a nice thing to look at, though, so we'll chat for a few minutes, but I've been moving my hands around, and you guys aren't seeing it, so um, so weird. I don't know why it does this right at one hour. Whenever I've been on for one hour is when it does it. Stupid thing. But you know what? I try to keep it for an hour. So, huh. Who was the best newer knife company to come out this year? Uh, hands down, Civivi. Civivi is crushing it. Crushing it, crushing it, crushing it. Um, and... Da -da -da. Yeah, um... Yes, Vivi is closer to the Kaiser Vanguard than Tangram. I agree with that. Uh, all the Tangrams are really freaking nice. It's just that the blade steel wise, though, I think it's closer. Um, it's Vivi versus Tangram. The, the lower ones, the lower end Civivis crush the Tangrams, but it's. They're kind of not. Um, what's that knife in the middle? That would be the Copper Natrix, I assume, by my frozen screen. This is so annoying that my screen froze again. I don't know why it's doing this. I think maybe my phone gets. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. My phone's really hot. I think that's what does it. I'm going to have to try and mount it a different way. So, uh, Manix 2 in lightweight or G10? If I only had to have one, I'd have the G10. But uh, the lightweight is pretty great. Although I do have to say right now I only do have one, and it's the lightweight. But I have PM2s and stuff, too. Um, but, yeah, if I was just going to... If I had a low-volume knife collection, I'd get the G10. Um, damn it, I guess I have to get a Civivi. You do. You do. you got to try one. It's worth it, man. Um, I'm not on. A, I'm not like recording on a Mac, Len. I'm recording on an iPhone, which I guess is kind of a Mac. But uh, uh yeah, I'm really liking the bare knuckle too. So uh, yeah, what about brews? I tried the Bold City Brewery. No, that does sound good. I, I like cream ales. It's pretty good. Um. And thank you for saying good job. Shard or Aquila, depending on what size you want. What iPhone? It's an old one. It's an iPhone 7. 
I was going to get a new uh, iPhone, and then guess then as I said, my cats decided to uh, kill my computer. So, um, what's my favorite Civivi right now? Oh, price no object. It's the Aquila, but um, I think the Backlash is the best one they make, just value wise and all that stuff. I'd show you if my freaking screen wasn't frozen. There's no way just to refresh the freaking screen on this. It's so dumb. If I hit close, it's just going to close up. Um, new iPhones are way overpriced. Not when you lease them like I do. They're fine. Uh, who's my NFL team? I am I am a filthy Jets fan, but I didn't even look to see if they won today. I have no idea. Um, a mini backlash? Hells yeah. I would love to see a mini backlash. One the size of the, I'm still gesturing to things, one to the size of the knife you see on the bottom there, one to the same size as the shard. This is the longest I've had an iPhone, William Burke. I know you, you have a 4S, but man, me having me being two, two generations behind? Hmm. Do I have any Reich knives? Yeah, I got a 801. I think that's required to be a YouTube reviewer. You can't be a YouTube reviewer, reviewer about that, but I'm... Um, iPhones are fine. I'm not watching any of your conspiracy stuff about that. Um, uh, my Jets lost yesterday. Okay, good. I'm glad they got out of the way. Glad they got out of the way early. Um, yeah. Yeah, the Keen is such an amazing knife. All right. Well, you know what? We're locked up here, and I try and keep these at about an hour because I do like people to want to be able to go back and look, look at them. Again, all you got to do to win our little prize package here is which I'm I'm trying to show it to you and I can't again but you're the usual three knife tool thing we do and the Weha bottle opener is just reply down below with what knife you're hoping to get for Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever it is you celebrate what knife you're hoping to be surprised with this month so uh I hope you guys have enjoyed this I really have I think it's been a good one it's been a lot of fun uh, other than the locking up but it locked up with 5 minutes to go so that's not too bad and wow we've had a lot of people on tonight very happy with it hope you guys have had a good time We'll see you next, uh, I think we're going to do one on New Year's Eve Eve. How about that? That's when I'll see you next. Talk to you later. Bye.